Hey, it's Jeremy from Jeremy.net. So these are some master studies from the Italian sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Um, my wife and I went on a trip to Italy a couple of years ago, and one of the artists my figure drawing and sculpt my figure drawing instructor advised me to check out was Bernini. Uh, we made a trip to a few different museums that had some of his sculptures, particularly the uh, the Gallery Borghese which was a beautiful museum, um, had some Caravaggio originals on top of that. But I wanted to do some master studies because I was just so blown away by how lifelike his, um, his sculptures are. I mean, there's no Bernini without Michelangelo. He was definitely the forefather. But, um, you know, Bernini came about a century after Michelangelo, and he definitely carried on where Michelangelo began in terms of just creating sculptures that were both idealized and allegorical, yet incredibly lifelike. And I had fallen out of the practice of doing studies from actual sculptures, but I used to go to the Getty Center in Los Angeles and draw from the classical sculptures there. And I definitely recommend start drawing from the actual sculptures as opposed to drawing from photographs because when you're in front of a sculpture, it's just like being in front of a real model if that's a well-done sculpture, just in the sense that the benefits of being able to observe the form in the round in three dimensions and study from it, if it's a well-built sculpture, a well-built piece of artwork, you can kind of get a lot of the same benefits except you don't have a model that's getting tired. And also, you also get some of the, the benefits of it being posed just right by a sculptor and it being idealized. So it's a great practice of doing studies from. And, you know, when that's not available, I, fortunately, I got a couple of uh, art books of his. So I sat down to do a few quick studies for him. And these are all very short. They're only six-minute poses, so I wasn't able to get a lot of detail in. I was kind of trying to mimic ooh, the drawings we usually do in figure drawing classes, uh, most of the classes I go to will usually start with like five minute poses in the beginning. So I kind of limited myself to six minute poses so that, yeah, I figure, hey, I'm drawing at home, give myself a little extra time. But still, it went very quick, so I had to draw fast. They're very loose, very rough. Um, I might do something more polished doing some longer poses later on. That's it for now. You can check out my website, jeremy.net. That's G E R I M I dot net. That's where you can buy my comic books and artwork. You can also sign up for my free weekly newsletter to get a behind-the-scenes look at my creative process, updates on new comic books and artwork releases, and upcoming comic book convention appearances. Okay, go be creative.